watched the uh, Anthony Simonson Leave It Behind documentary. And uh, it was, you know, first off, a great production. You know, I really liked the, uh, the inside details, you know, about his life. And growing up, knowing Simonson a little bit, I didn't quite know him at his younger age. So for me, this was uh, a big learning experience as well. You know, uh, we never really talked about his mother too much either. Uh, I cried for the last 10 minutes of the video. I uh, wasn't really quite prepared for all of that, but it makes me uh, respect him even more, you know, uh, as, as a friend and somebody I've uh, traveled with and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, I've always known that he did have a rough past or growing up. And, uh, you know, I know him now and, and he's, you know, completely different than he was as a kid. And, uh, you know, just seeing him grow up and the way that he's matured, you know, really, um, you know, it, it doesn't really change the way I look at him, you know, because I've always had, you know, mad respect for him because I knew he pretty much grew up doing it on his own. But, uh, you know, just even more respect for him now. And, you know, I've always been there for him. You know, anytime I can help him with anything, he's the first one to, to throw the hand back out for anybody that needs help as well. And, and it all just goes to prove, you know, it's proven, you know, that, that's what I knew. You know, he was a great kid. And, you know, to see what he's went through, it uh, just solidifies everything that I've thought about him and, and his character, you know, of who he is. Flow Bowling, they're doing a great job with this. The Flow Film documentary, Anthony Simonson, Leave It Behind. Flow Bowling, September 4th. You can't go back and, and change what has already happened. Leave it in the past.